In this module, we will illustrate how to measure the distance between parts or distance between components in a part. We will also show how to measure the width of a part. To simulate this, we will solve this application from customer XYZ. Customer wants to measure the distance between these two holes. Customer also wants to measure the width of this part. As always, since we already have a good image to start with, we will click on Teach Reference Object. We will insert the Blob Tool. The settings for the Blob Tool automatically appear on the right-hand side, and it does a good job in auto-detecting the thresholds and the area settings. We can see from the Results tab that we have two blobs that are found. We have the X coordinate, Y coordinate, and area of the blob. For each of the blob, these can be sent over Ethernet to the host controller, and the host controller can measure the distance between these two holes. For width, we can use uh, the polygon tool, a single click will start the polygon and a double click will end it. This creates a line. We will try to move the line closer to the part. We will change the polarity so that we are looking for the edge of the part from white to black and we will say that we want this to match within about 80 percent with a position search of the default parameter for 5 pixels and we will rename this to left side. We will do something similar and draw a polygon on the right side as well and again move it very close to the edge and we will define the polarity one more time to go from white to black have the parameter set to about 80% and leave the default for position search and we will call this right side. Now all these inspections are still static in the sense that if I move my part around the inspections are gonna fail they're gonna require a very reliable presentation of parts so what we will do is uh, we'll go ahead and insert the object locator and the object locator will locate all the edges of the part so we can go ahead and mask the inside of the part now all the inspections are going to be placed in relation to how we locate the part itself. So if I move the part left or right, my blob and my polygon are being placed in relation to that. Now it's a matter of sending this data out to the host controller so that the controller can compute the distance between these two holes as well as between these two sides. So while we will cover the Ethernet and the Ethernet IP communication in a separate module. For now, it suffices to show you that when you go to the Ethernet results output, you can type in the XML code and what you see is you can get the X, Y position for each of these two holes and for the left side and the right side, you're getting the two corner positions, top corner and the bottom corner of each of the lines, which now the controller can use to compute any distances and width that are required in this application.